Hello, my name is Chris Beach. I have prepared a short slide presentation with narration aimed at raising awareness of the importance of skin care. Slide 2. Why and how? The social impact of skin problems can prove to be one of the most troublesome issues facing anyone with multiple sclerosis. A skin sore can mean several weeks of hospitalisation or, or bed rest to allow the sore to heal. The most important point, however, is that skin problems are preventable. It is important that you keep your eye on your own skin condition and fully appreciate how to spot the early warning signs of skin sores. It is accepted that with reduced levels of mobility, the skin has a lower level of tolerance to direct pressure even more so if your skin sensation has also been affected. These changes mean that the body's mechanisms of alerting you that you have been sitting or lying for too long without moving is no longer as effective. In the diagrams opposite, bony prominences all provide areas that can, if not protected, become sore from pressure and what is termed as shear. Shear is where your skin tension is stressed as we move. Therefore, comfortable positioning for protected vulnerable areas prone to pressure is vital to keep your skin in good condition. Regular positioning to relieve the pressure is important for skin health, whether in bed or in a chair. If you are in a wheelchair, you will have been given specific advice on optimising position, and maintenance of the cushion. These instructions are really important if you are to avoid skin problems. Routine and systematic repositioning is recommended at least every hour during the day and at least every four to six hours at night to avoid adverse skin pressure with daily inspection of the skin at all of those bony areas. Slide three, what to look for and what to do. The picture on the left shows the stages of skin breakdown due to prolonged skin pressure and the depth to which damage can occur. Dry skin, particularly over those bony prominences, raises the risks of associated skin pressure and possible ulceration due to damaging effects of shearing forces, especially within the layers of the skin and the underlying tissues. As a preventative measure, Regular gentle massage with a moisturising cream is recommended. By massaging the area, you will be promoting improved local blood circulation, aiding in the general health of your skin. Prolonged pressure means you sit or lie in the same position for too long, causing symptoms of skin damage. The first symptom, your warning signal, is either a localised soreness or a reddening over the skin, or if you have dark or black skin tones, a shiny appearance over the skin. No damage has occurred if you remove the pressure and the redness or shiny appearance fades and the soreness eases 15 minutes after the pressure is removed. If your skin over this area does not return to your normal skin colour and the soreness remains, then you need to avoid any further pressure on that area and contact your GP for advice or possible consultation. Do not delay. Early treatment can be very helpful. It's very effective. Slide four. How to avoid adverse skin pressure. You know what they say. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Never more so than with skin care. The key to preventing such damage is correct seating and positioning linked to regular and systematic repositioning. Even just lifting the weight off of the area for a few seconds, either vertically by lifting yourself, if able or with assistance, out of the chair or from side to side or front to rear. Of course, you need to do that safely. This can enable improved circulation in that local area. If you can combine these good habits and regular skin massage with a moisturiser, you will reduce the risk of skin and deep tissue damage. If sitting, then
then appropriate cushioning is vital to ensure the prevention of unwanted pressure over those bony areas. Research has shown that correct posture and cushioning can reduce the risks of adverse complications when using a wheelchair that has been prescribed and correctly fitted. As you can see, leisure activities can be pursued and enjoyed when you are confident, confident you will be comfortable and your skin health preserved. Before we go on to the next and final slide, I will give you a top tip. As a reminder, to correct posture and readjust positioning during the day, if you listen to the radio or TV for company, which many people do, every time you hear the news, use that as your reminder to try and relieve pressure and adjust your posture, even if you are feeling comfortable. Slide five, and it's the summary slide. I have attached three key source references I found really helpful uh, whilst preparing this slide presentation and I recommend them to any of you wishing to read further on this topic. I do hope you found this slide presentation helpful in reminding you of the importance of skin care and you will recall I have mentioned posture on a, a few occasions which is a key component to preventing skin damage. So we will be looking at a posture uh, follow-up presentation in the next few weeks. Thanks for listening.